Okay. Look at the board. Okay, Abada. Abada, Rubia. Read ahead of the question, question one. Okay. Circuit the linking verb and underline the subject complement. Number one. The water looks perfectly clean. Come, okay. So guys, we have uh, we have here uh, a structure is called like uh, like the linking verb and its complement, subject complement. We have linking verbs such as am, is, are, was, and where. These are the verb to be like linking verbs. And you have like look, and you have seem, and you have appear, and you have get, and you have taste, and smell, and sound. All these like linking verbs, called like linking verbs. If I want to check or if I want to like confirm, hey, quiet. If I want to confirm, that is quiet. Sit down, sit. Sit down, sit down, Abdelman. If I want to com confirm that is like a linking verb, so I can I can change it or I can replace it with a verb from verbs to be. So I can say the water was perfectly calm. Was perfectly calm. So I describe what Abdelman. So, uh, come here, describes whom in the sentence. Describe what is in the sentence. Mr. Tari, answer. Ah, wait a minute. Describe water. So, come here is an adjective and describes the water. So, that's why it's called like subject complement, because the subject's complement tells you about the subject. So, come here tells us about the subject, because the, the subject here is calm. The water here is calm, was calm. Okay, uh, next one, Mazin. Number two, Mazin. Mr. Number one, circle the okay. locks and underline calm. Yes, circle locked okay. and underline calm. Huh? An afternoon swim seemed a good idea. Huh? So, seemed is a linking verb. Okay, yes. that means was. An afternoon swim was and a good idea or a good idea. This is if I want to confirm that is a linking verb, okay? That if I want to confirm that is a linking verb, okay? So, uh, idea here describes what? The idea, same that describes the idea. Again? Same that describes an idea. No, same is a linking verb, you imagine. Yes. Seemed is a linking verb. I'm saying idea here describes what? The subject complement. What's the subject here? It's a subject complement and describes who? Swim. Huh? Uh, Again. Swim. Swim, yes. So swim here is a good idea. That means the 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 uh, the, the suggestion here is like is good. The suggestion is good. So swim is a subject. An idea is a subject complement to which, like, the first two swim. Okay. Sentence three. Jaffa. Unfortunately, children. your mics, guys. Uh huh. Okay. So, present is what subject complement. Describes the subject in the sentence. So what's the subject? Yeah. The subject is what? This is subject complement to present. What's the subject? Was is a linking verb. We need a subject. That the subject complement describe it. Strong is an adjective. Under current. Under current here is like the subject. And its description here is a prison. Its description is what? Prison. Under current, that means a prison. Okay? 
so uh, okay so number four Ah, yes, Oud. The current. Uh -huh. A forceful pull. What's the subject's complement? Uh, pull. Yes. The linking verb. And the subject complement describes what? Uh, no. Uh, the subject, yes. The subject's complement describes what's before the linking verb. What's before the linking verb? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, Obad. Okay, no problem. Obad number five. Okay. My arms and legs became heavy logs. Yes. So the subject complement is logs. Logs. And the linking verb became. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the subject that the subject complement describe it? Mm. It. No. Mm. There is a subject before the linking verb. And logs here describes this subject. Was. Again? Was. Where is was? Ubada, you are in number five, Ya Ubada. Yes, I know, I know. Uh -huh. I mean. Hmm. So what like logs here? What like logs? Are, are? Yes, arms and legs. So arms and legs here is the subject which logs here describe it. So logs describe the subject arms and logs. And legs. If you want to ask yourself a question to um, to you to get the answer, so you say, what the logs describe. So you say arms and poles. What pole describe the current? What prison describe? What idea describe? What calm describe? Like that. So you get the answer. So the answer before the linking verb became here is a linking verb. Okay. Question two. Understand it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Linking verb. This is a linking verb. Yes. A question two. Jad, read the head of the question. Read the head of the question first. Mm. I O. And direct object. We discussed before, guys, between the different about the difference between the direct object and direct object. The direct object you ask yourself with what? And direct object you ask yourself with to whom? Let's get that. Number one, yeah, Jad. Huh? Wait. When he gave me a swimming lesson, when I ask, when I ask, what when he gave you? Huh? What when he gave? What when he gave? Huh? Say it as Listen. Listen. To whom? Very good. To me. So me is indirect object yes. and listen is direct object. Why? Because I'm asking about what's important in the sentence. What's important in the sentence to understand? Give what? You want to know what did she give? That's it. This is what you want to know. Yes. To whom this is not important? To you, to him, to me, to anyone, this is not important. That's why we call this direct object. So the direct object in this sentence is what? Listen. And the indirect object is what? <clears throat> me. Me is a direct object. It's not important in the sentence. Because can I get can I say when he gave a swimming lesson? Yes, I can I can say like that. And the sentence will be correct. But I, I've added the indirect object just to make it like clear to the to the audience. Okay? So what when he gave? What when he gave? Listen, to whom? To me. 
مازن يس مستر سنتنس 2 شي هاز تو تشيلدرن فور ييرز اها سو تشيلدرن هير از وات ا بلورن ان سينجلر وات يا مازن دايركت اور ان دايركت اوبجكت دايركت Plural. Okay, so in this sentence, guys, we have something like a tricky. Here we have what? We have the direct object or indirect object. Direct object. Think in the sentence. Forget the answer. Direct or indirect. The sentence is saying she has taught children for years. When I ask the question, what did she teach? You have the answer. What did she teach? No. Not to whom? Do you have the answer or not? No. You don't have. No. She taught what? I don't know. So it's better to add after the children here English, for example, or Spanish. Okay, it's hidden. But to whom? Children. Children. Okay. So here in this sentence, we have indirect object. Children is indirect object, not direct object. The direct object is missed. Where is the direct object? She taught what? The direct object, you ask about it by using what? She taught what, for example? You say, I taught Spanish. To whom? To children. Children is a direct object. Spanish. Write the Spanish. It's better to write the Spanish after the children and add I-O instead of D-O. Yes. But after the children, after the word children. But if you get it in the exam, if you get this sentence in the exam, so what you have to do? <coughs> you have to write it in dialect. You have to fix it by yourself. Fix and write in Spanish and write in dialect. I understand. Because we don't have a question. Write it in Spanish. Write it in Spanish. Children. Yes. Because we don't know. The children is correct here, but it's in dialect object. I, I, I want to ask, what did she teach? Do you have the answer? No, because we don't. We don't have. But when I say to whom? Children. So to whom here is a direct object. Yes. She taught something to to whom? To what? So this is, must be like a direct object. When I ask you about the direct object, it's not in the sentence. There is no direct object. Because the direct object, that means the uh, action verb must be applied on something. Action verb here is taught, teach. Teach, teach what? So the action, this is action verb. I have to apply it on something. Teach lesson, teach uh, like Spanish, teach a language, whatever. <coughs> no problem, correct. Huh? Swimming lessons, huh? Number two, it must be like add Spanish or English, for example, after the children. And then make it like indirect object. Down the line, of children here it must be indirect object. Do you have any question about this, guys? Mister, wait. Uh, write a Spanish word or or uh, only uh, write Spanish. Spanish, only Spanish. She has taught children Spanish for years. So children will be indirect object in this sentence. Sentence three. Say it. And write I O, Mister. Yes, right, I all. Huh? Yes. So, when I ask, what does the swimming use? Oh. Energy. So, energy is what? Direct object. To what? To whom? To the body. So the energy of the body, we mean the energy of the body. Body here is indirect object. But the direct object is uses what in the in the body? Uses up what? So use up energy. Understand it? Mazin. Huh? Yes, yes, I just wait. Wait. Yes, Mr. Mazin. Yes. Sentence uh, four. Okay. <laughs> Winner of third, everyone, a snack. A snack. Yes. Snack. It's a three oh, right. 
The snack is what? Uh, indirect object. The snack is a singular. Tell him, yeah, something. So snack is what? Huh? Direct object. What's the indirect object? The, the indirect Everyone. object must be like a person in the sentence. Must be a person. Got it? Everyone, everybody, me and him, people like that. So this is like called indirect object because I use the question of to whom. Okay? She gave, for example, or she offered the snack to whom? Or for whom? For whom? For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. Okay? So so everyone here is in direct object. Because it's not important in the sentence. If I want to say, like, when he offered the snack, it's correct. So everyone is just, like, extra. You add it in the sentence just to make it clear. Sentence five, Jad. Wait. Listen, listen up. Towel is what? Towel is what? Yes. No, towel. Towel is what? Uh, towel. I'm asking about towel. Yes, towel is direct object. Because when I ask, Farah handed what? Towel. To whom? Yes, to Faye. So Faye here is what is in direct object. But when I ask you what's the direct object, you say towel. Towel is direct object here. Understand it? Yes. Good. This lesson is very important, guys. This lesson is very important. You have to understand it. Mr. Mr. I but, yes, the O, there it comes. But why you don't uh, make something? Uh, uses up here means consumes. Consumes the body's energy, absorb the body's energy. This is the meaning of uses up. Use up here is a transitive verb, guys. Transitive verb. That means it needs a proposition to reach the uh, the object. Yes. Without this proposition up, the use here will get another meaning. Yes. Understand? So use up here is one word. It's one verb. It's called like a transitive verb, and it means consumes or it means absorb. Okay. Okay, next uh, next uh, question. <coughs> How about this? Yes. Question three. Hmm. Okay, uh, no problem. Obeda, uh, question three, Obeda. Write the, write the letter of the sentence that has a subject complement. Subject complement, guys, as we discussed about it, it's a part in the sentence, comes after a linking verb, describes the subject. That's why I call it a subject complement. It completes the subject. It tells you about the subject. Understand it? Yes, yes. So, number one, we have letter D. Letter D refers to what here? Read the letter D of it. Okay. On a hot day, it mm. tastes wonderful. Yes. Number one, we we have a linking verb here. What's the linking verb? Taste. This taste. here is a linking verb. If I want to check or I, I want to confirm that this here is a linking verb, use another verb of verbs to be. So you can say what? It yes. is wonderful. So I, I, can I say it like that? Can I say it is wonderful? So yes. it's correct. Yes. That means this here is a linking verb. Okay? And here, wonderful describes what? Describes the hot day or a day. Day. Excellent. So wonderful here describes the day. So wonderful is a complement which describes the day. Understand? The yes. other sentences, A, B, or C, we don't have any linking verb. All the verbs are like action verbs, such as what? Such as visit is, a, is action verb, buy is action verb, gives is action verb. 
But this here is one of the linking verbs. So when you feel confused in this like part, you have to memorize the linking verbs. Linking verbs are taste, smell, seem, um, uh, become, uh, look, feel. These are like get. These all uh, like uh, sound. These are like the linking verbs. And add am, is, are, was, and where. These are linking verbs too. Understand? Yes. Good. Yeah. Number two. What's the letter? This, 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 urgent. Urgent. Number one, we have a linking verb. What's the linking verb? Seems. Seems is a linking verb. How can I check? Say, like today, this advice is less urgent. Can I say that? It's correct? No, no. No, I can't. I can't say this advice is less urgent. I can't say that. I can replace this word seems and I use a verb uh, of to be to say is. It's correct. Understand? Yes. So seems here is a linking verb. What's the subject? Advice. Yes, what's the subject complement? Yeah. Subject complement which describes the subject. Less urgent. So urgent here describes the subject advice and seems is a linking verb. So that's only the sentence which is correct here to be like subject with a complement. Uh, yeah, let's go. Sentence three. Uh, that, that, <coughs> the answer? The, uh, because Read it. Uh, B, as first, I was afraid, afraid of the, the water. Very good. Number one, we have a linking verb. What is it? Uh, linking uh, verb. Linking verb. Uh, was. was. Yes. What's the subject? Uh, I. I. The subject complement which describes the subject. Before. Before the word. Yes, it's what? Oh. I. What's the subject complement? Uh, I'm uh, afraid of the water. Afraid of. Yes. Afraid of here. So it describes the subject I. Afraid of what? Water. So afraid of water here, it's like describes the state of the subject I. Yeah, mm. uh, subject. Subject. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. That is all with the adjectives and everything. Describe the subject. It's called like subject complement. Yes, okay. Uh, number four. Uh, Mazin. Yes, Mr. Sentence four. Sentence four A. Eh. The pool was the sentence four. The answer is A. Eh. Uh -huh. The pool water was incredibly cold. Yes. So here, what's the subject? The pool. Pool. Only. Yes. The subject must be the pool here. The pool, like, uh, full of water. Okay, so what's the linking verb? Was. Was. What's the subject complement? The word Incredibly was. Incredibly cold. Uh, yes. Incredibly the word cold. was cold. Only cold, just cold. But I, I, I've highlighted all of that just to understand. But only cold. When I ask you about the water in the pool, you say it's what? It's cold. So cold describes the word, describes the subject. That's why I call subject complement. Okay. Abdul Aziz. Question four. Hmm. This question is very important too, guys. Very, very important. Listen up. Hi, Abdul Aziz. Read it, Abdul Aziz. Read the head of the question. We discussed before about a proposition, object of a proposition, and a prepositional phrase. First of all, what you have to do in the exam to get the proposition, okay? Number two, to get the object of the proposition. Number three, underline all of that. 
because the object of the preposition is the last word in the uh, in the space or uh, in the uh, causality of the preposition. So sentence one, what's the preposition? At. What's the object? College. College. Proposition phrase? At a college. At a college. That's only the proposition phrase. That's why I ask you to underline the object of the proposition because to not underline the old words. This is incorrect. So we have like a limit here. So college is the object of a proposition. Till this, you have to stop. And you start from the proposition till the object of a proposition and underline. Yes, the second proposition is yeah, and and object, object Philadelphia. So Philadelphia here is object, and this is all called what? Yes, we have to. How many proposition phrases in this? Two, two proposition phrases with two propositions. Each proposition has its own object of a proposition. Okay. <coughs> uh, Jafar, sentence two. What's the proposition? Proposition is what? Before. Object? Lunch. Proposition phrase? Propositional phrase before lunch. This is all called a proposition phrase. You take the proposition and its object. Understand? Yes. Yes, all of these are like a propositions. Yes. Sentence three. What's the proposition? Object. Progress. Proposition phrase. Yes. The object of a proposition must be a noun, guys. Okay. What's the second proposition in this sentence? Object. Phrase. Very good. Sentence four. Jad. Jad. Sentence four. What's the proposition? Hmm. Four. The object. Surgeon, yes. Phrase, circle all of that or underline all of that. Okay, you start from the proposition till the object, end with the object. Saud, five. Proposition. Mm. Proposition. No, forget nurse here is wrong. Forget it. What? Nurse here is wrong. Wrong. What's nurse? Before. Huh? Yes. Only student. All the student is here. Okay. So student here is the object of a proposition. What's the proposition phrase? Uh, uh, huh. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, proposition phrase. Uh, proposition phrase. As a student. Yes, as a student. Next proposition. Uh, and object. Uh, word. word. Yes. Proposition phrase. Uh, all. All. Yes. Okay. And then maternity word. Yes, you have to get the object of a proposition to know to to which part you have it. To stop, okay, or you end. Done. Yes. 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 Yes.
next page, page uh, three. This question is very important too. Yes, yes. Oh my god. <clears throat> Question five, yeah, okay. okay. Underline the proposition, uh, prepositional yes, phrase in each sentence. Write adjective if the phrase acts as an adjective. Write mm -hmm. adverb if the, if it acts as an adverb. And here is very important to understand, guys. How do I know it's adjective or how do I know the proposition phrase here is adverb? How do I know that? Let's. See it together. Number one, how bad? Okay. Okay. Number one, both men and women have been pioneers in medicine. Yes. Adjective. So this is adjective in medicine. How do I know it's adjective? How do you know how bad? It's adjective here. How can it check? Okay. Um, uh. Uh, <coughs> no. Listen up. Before the preposition phrase here, we have a noun. If we have a noun, that means the preposition phrase will be adjective as a description for this noun. This noun. Okay. Understand? Yes. Pioneer yes. here is a noun in the sentence, not a verb. So. Look at the preposition phrase. If it comes after this noun, so it must be adjective. If this word is a verb, so the preposition phrase will be adverb to describe the verb. Understand? The adjective describes a noun, but the adverb describes a verb. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Next one, Muhammad Aziz. Number two. Look at number two, guys. Look at number two and understand, huh? Yes. The proposition phrase here is what? Adverb. How do I check? Struggled is a verb. So the proposition phrase will be like adverb to describe this verb. Understand it? Yes. So when you get before the proposition phrase a verb, so the proposition phrase will be adverb. When you get a noun, so it will be adjective. Huh? Understand? Imagine. Let's mm. Sentence three. Listen up. Wait, Mr. One minute. Sentence. One minute. Uh, Abdul Aziz. Sentence three. Mr. Mr. I I am back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? Okay. It's what? Adverb or adjective? Adverb. Why? Huh? Yes. Work is a what? Is a verb. So this preposition phrase describes a verb. So it must be adverb. Understand? Good. Hi, imagine number four. Jafar, uh, Saud. Yes. Sentence four, yes, Saud. Sentence four. This is what? Adjective. Adjective. Why? It describes what? This uh, proposition phrase, guys. Uh, huh? Dream. Describes what? Uh, dream. Uh, so, dream is a noun. Dream is what? Dream is a noun, and the proposition phrase here describes the noun, so it must be adjective. The adjective describes the noun, and the adverb describes a verb. Understand it?
Ubada. Yes. Sentence five. Okay. A few courageous women fought agents pre pre prejudice. Again, it's to prejudice. So the proposition phrase here is what? Huh? Ah. Uh, agent uh, prejudice. Huh. Agent prejudice. Again, it's a prejudice. Against. Huh. Adverb or adjective? Adverb. How do you know? How can you tell? Because before the pre uh, prepositional phrase is not a noun. Yes, it's a verb. Fought. It's the past form of fight. The past form of the verb fight. Okay, so fought is a verb. And the preposition phrase here will be adverb to describe this verb. Okay. Understand? Yes. Muhammad Abdul Aziz. Yes. Sentence six. Uh -huh. This is adjective. Describes what? Descri yes. Describe the doctor here. The, the place of the doctor or the, the, the position or where where does she uh, work, okay? Or where, where does she live in the United States? So this is like adjective describes doctor, okay? Sentence seven. <coughs> Jack. Sentence seven. Listen up. Huh. Mm. Ah. Ah. I don't understand it. Why you don't understand it, Jan? Yeah, Jan, this is verb. You see, thought is a verb. When you get a proposition phrase after, so it must be adverb. The adverb describes the verb. And the adjective describes the noun. The dream here. The dream here is what for the woman? The, for most women, it's a dream. Yes. So dream is a noun. So the, the description of the noun must be like adjective. The adjective describes the noun. Got it? So easy, so easy. Okay. When, when I say, when I say, like, Jad is a good guy in sunrise school. Okay? In sunrise school, this is proposition phrase, right? Yes. Who is in Sunrise School? Jack. Jack. So, in Sunrise School, here is what? Adjective. Proposition phrase which is adjectives. Describes the place of Jack. What's to describe something. Adjective, you use it to describe something. To say good or bad. To say good or bad. Good. In this sentence, sentence seven, guys, pay your attention because it's very important. Sentence seven. Sentence seven, this is not adverb, guys. This is not adverb. We don't have a verb. Accomplished here is an adjective. Accomplished here is what? It's an adjective. And struggle here describes accomplish. So it must be adjective, must not be like a verb. Ad, uh, adjective, right? Adjective. This is adjective. Accomplished, the word accomplished here, it's like an adjective. Let, let's confirm that together, okay? Just wait. Let's see that together. I will write the word accomplished here in the dictionary. You see the dictionary? <laughs> Accomplished is what here? Look at the board. Hey, Ola. Yeah.
Accomplished is what? Adjective, right? It's adjective. So definition that means uh, proficient as the result of a practicing or training. That means you do something, you skip it, okay? So this is called accomplished. So accomplished is not a verb here in this sentence. It's an adjective. It's what? It's an adjective. And the rest of the sentence here is like a prepositional phrase is adjective too. So this is must be like adjective, not a verb. It must be like an adjective phrase. It's not a verb. It's not adverb. Yes. This is must be adjective, guys. This is must be adjective. Accomplish something. I have to say accomplish something, for example. Accomplished war, for example. Having many social accomplishments. So this is like adjective. It's not like, it's not, um, it's not a verb. It's not a verb. Not a verb. Understand? Yes, yes, so we, we have to add something after accomplished. I have, I, hey, hey, I have to say something after accomplished. I have to say what? Accomplished war. Accomplished uh, practicing, for example. Number seven, this was not accomplished war. Okay, without a great, uh, a great struggle. So write work. Right, after accomplished, write the word work. Write work. Work, work, W-O-R-K. Work. Huh? Yes. This was not accomplished work without a great struggle. That means I have to struggle to do this work. Understand? Yes. Right work after. Yes, yes. After accomplished, right work. Yeah. After uh, after accomplished, right work. Okay. This was not accomplished work without a great struggle. Got it? So work here is what noun, and the noun means what to be described. Adjective or adverb. Adjective. So here will be adjective. So change it to be adjective. A change without a great struggle to be adjective. Understand, guys? <clears throat> Understand or not? Yes. Okay. How bad? Yes, <laughs> sir. How about Rabia? Sentence A. Yes. Okay. Her her achievement has been re remembered through through the years. Yes. Through the years is what? A prepositional phrase. And it's what? Adjective or adverb phrase? Uh, adverb. Adverb. Why? Because. Uh, because the uh, uh, because the word before the pre pre yes pre because it's a phrase is a verb preceded by a verb which is remembered yes. so remembered here is a verb and the verb needs the adverb to be described okay Faisal nine Faisal uh, Mr. Cancer was wait mm. uh -huh. So the proposition phrase here is what? Hmm. It's adjective or adverb. Why? It describes what? It describes what? Yes, what's the noun? Force. So force here is what? Is the noun. And, the, and to describe the noun, you need what? You need adjective. So the proposition phrase here is an adjective. Sentence 10. Hi, Saud. Adjective of any doctor. Of any doctor. Of any doctor is a propositional like a phrase which is adjective. Which describes what? Describes the characteristic. Yes. Okay, and characteristic here is what? A noun. It's a noun. It's what? A noun. A noun. 
Chat. Understand. Ah. Listen up, listen. Huh? Question nine. Yes. Force here is a noun. Force is a noun. And the preposition phrase is behind her success. Success is object behind is a preposition. This is called or preposition phrase. Its adjective describes the force. Force is not a verb. Understand? That's it. Hmm. No. Next question, Abdelaziz. Question six. This is so easy. Just we want to know the pronoun which replaces the nouns. He plus he equals what? The equation is saying what? He plus he equals what? They. They. Very good. So number one is what? They. they. Because Lois and Clark is he plus he. He plus he equals they. Number two, Muhammad Aziz. Okay. Uh, they were sent by President Thomas. <coughs> uh -huh. uh, Comes after the verb. What's the verb? Sent by or after the preposition. What comes after the preposition must be object. And comes at the end of the sentence. So it must be him. Sentence three. Uh, 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 Louisiana purchase. Acquire. It. Yes, it. Okay. It's not a living thing. Number four. Mazin. Yes. Mazin. Yes, Mister. Sentence four. Okay. Jefferson chose the uh, meds. Listen up. Jefferson uh. used Meruther Lewis as commander. Uh -huh. uh, replace Meruther Lewis, uh, will, Meruther Lewis will be him. Yes, after the verb must be object and the object is him. Uh. Faisal, number five. Listen up. Best is out. Uh. Uh, yes, he comes before the verb must be subject, and the subject here is he. Next page, number six, Jafar. Uh. Quiet. Telegrammer, this is the last. Listen. Succeeded. So you replace it with with her. Comes after the verb or after the proposition here. Object of a proposition. How many hours is it? The horse is day. Yes, the horse is day to replace it. It's a subject for now. Judge. Yes, Eight. Eight. 
on food, huh? It. We replace it with it. Okay. Uh, Saud, number nine. Salam. Uh, yes, Jim and I. Yes, any noun or pronoun plus I equals we. Okay. Abad, Abad. Yes, uh, yes. Number ten. Okay. Uh, well, Mrs. Uh, well, Miss. Well, Miss. Uh, well, uh, well, Miss Underwood. Miss Underwood. Jim and me with our report. Sit right. down, Abdul yeah, Malik. Uh, ah. So it's what, yeah, Abad? Us. Any noun or pronoun plus me equals us. Us. Okay. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, because me, me is object to pronounce. That means we need an object, plural object to pronounce. But we is subject to pronounce. So I is subject to. Understand? Instead of the subject singular, you need subject to plural. Instead of the object singular, you need object to plural. Huh? Huh? Horses. And they, they. Yes, yes, highlight it, highlight the yellow, highlight. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Face up. Sentence one and question seven. Read the question seven. If you want to replace it, you replace it with what? They. Abdul Aziz. Two. I want to do uh -huh. If you want to replace mother, you use what? She. Saud. Number three. Us instead of the monkeys here. What comes after the verb? Must be object. Jafar. Number five. Uh, we. Yes, members of the Abe family. If you yeah. want to replace it, you replace it with they. Members. Ah, uh, yes, number four. Yeah, Jaffa. Read number four. Uh, Mister, we say uh, four. Quite, quite. Uh, our class. If I want to make a subject, so it will be we instead. Um, Mazen. Yes, Mister. Wake him up. Alright. Ah. Okay, number six, you imagine. Number five, Mr. Godel. If I want to replace it with a pronoun. Mr. It's number five. Ah. Six. Six or five, Mr. Six. Okay. Jan God, Godel knows about temperance because she. Yes, she. If I want to replace it, I replace it with she. Number seven, Jad. And instead of people, we use them here. They communicate with them. Them here refers to people. Okay. Quiet. Uh, number eight, Muhammad Khalid. Muhammad Aziz. Salam. Yes. Listen up. So you is what here? You is in a city of home. Her student. The teacher here told her students. You. You that means it refers to the student. Okay, number nine. Have a me, I, as a subject, if I want to use its object, so I say me. Jafar. First to what? We. Any noun or pronoun plus we plus I is equal to. Just wait, wait.
دخلت عليه وش تروح تكلم؟ ما ما وافق قال لا لا ما وافق والله يا شباب خلاص ها؟ لا 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 اجلس يلا خلاص اجلس يا سعود يا سعود كويس ايفري وان عبادة ربيع ها؟ Yes. No. Tomorrow, inshallah. Tomorrow. Read this page, or better, read the page. Have you fixed? Have you fixed everything in the page, guys? Yes. Yes. We. Uh, we. Uh, the Spanish one. Ah uh, yes. Very good. Yes. Yes. Read. No. 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 I need the sounds. Yes. Let them. Hey, Obeda, read. Okay, sir. Uh, one. One. Circle the linking verb and, un and, and underline the subject complement. Yes. Uh, first one, the water looked perfectly calm. Uh -huh. The linking verb is looked and, uh, and the subject complement is calm. <coughs> yes. Mm. And refers to what? An afternoon swim seemed a good idea. The linking verb is seemed and uh, the subject complements is idea. It refers to swim. Unfortunately, a strong undercurrent was present uh, was uh, the linking verbs was and the subject complement is okay the subject complement is present for the current was a was a forceful pull, forceful pull the linking verbs was and the and the subject complement oh, is look forward Huh. Five, my arms and legs became heavy lugs. Uh -huh. The linking verbs became and the subject complement slugs. Mm -hmm. Question two, write do, write do if the underlying word is a direct object. Yes. Or I-O if it is an in, indirect object. Yes. Listen here in this, uh, huh. this yes. question. Listen. Huh. Here in this question, Mr. Uh, we don't have underline word. No, why? It's me. Me is underlined. Yes, I know, but in the worksheet, uh, we don't... Uh, underline it, no problem. Underline it. Yes, I underline it. You have to underline it. Okay. Huh. Uh, Winnie gave me a swimming lesson. Mm. Uh, it's I-O. Yes, and I got it. She has two children for years. Uh, she, uh, she has children Spanish for years. Mm. Yes. Swimming uses up the body, body's energy. Mm. Yes. One more. Listen up. And everyone a snack. Oh. Uh, I O. Yes. Number five. Uh, Farah and uh, handed Faye a dry towel. I O. Hi, Albert. Yes. Why? Yes, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Done? Yes. Done. Yes, okay. Uh, next, uh, Jaffa, next page. Read with the answers, just say the answers. Mm -hmm. 
Sedang, sedang ni cakap Set, sedang ni cakap ليل وعشرين انا قاعد وبعدين اصل نصكم يتكلم وش كاتب مين فيصل عندك بالامانه Mr. We finish. We finish the grammar. والاثنين اللي يتكلمون هذول لا ما في سوري لا 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 صدام
Time is up, guys. Time is up. Goodbye, everyone.